All right, this is Pastor John David, and welcome. You made it to day nine. We are reading through Proverbs. We're just ripping right through Proverbs, and we're on day chapter nine, which means we're on Proverbs chapter nine. And I hope you're reading. I hope you're doing your SOAP uh, study guide where you, you listen, you meditate on the scriptures, you get the scriptures in, then you observe what do you see, what are the things that are alike, what are the things that are disalike, what are the words that are maybe out of place, what are things challenging you, capturing you, what is making you uh, uncomfortable, what is uh, comforting you. There, there are so many things you can look for as you observe. And then uh, you seek to apply what is it that God wants me to do with what I'm learning. And then lastly, we want to pray about it and just speak to the Lord your heart about what where you're at, what you need what your life needs, what the people around you need. Pray for the Lord to give you all that you need. And he does. He is so faithful. He will share riches and grace and wisdom with you, which is what we need, wisdom, right? So now today we're in Proverbs chapter 9. Let's go to 8. Proverbs 9, 8. And this is uh, this is one of those uh, multiple pl places in Proverbs. You're going to hear this theme a lot. I think it's really the theme of the whole book. But it says, do not reprove a scoffer or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man and he will love you, right? Look at the two different contrasts. So what is, it, what is the Bible telling us here? Uh, don't reprove a scoffer, right? Don't try to correct or reason with a scoffer. They're going to hate you. Uh, now, what's a scoffer? What, 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 is, what does that mean? What is a scoffer, the one that you're not supposed to correct? Well, in, in Hebrew, that word is close to the word screech owl, right? Like they're just screeching in, in the night, like, ah, it's a screech owl. Like don't, and, and, it, and also it's similar to the word Lilith, which was a false god uh, of the time, uh, one of the false gods. But the idea of a scoffer is someone who rejects, someone who laughs at, who scowls, who screeches at God, the mention of God, the truth of God, the reality of God. If there's someone who could care less about God, I mean, I was having a, a, a Facebook fight with somebody. They messaged me and they were wanting to get into a doctrinal discussion about all these doctrines. And I just finally said, you know what? You're a scoffer. You don't care. You don't want to hear you are just wanting to pick a fight, and I don't, I don't have time for that. Lord bless you. There's so much other things I've got to be doing. Have a nice one. You're not going to convince me. I'm not going to convince you. It is a waste of my time and your time to be arguing about something that I'm already convinced about. And you asked me, but you didn't really ask me. You just want to pick a fight and and prove a point. I mean, they're not doing a, they didn't do a good job of winning me over or building the relationship. They were just kind of vomiting on me and moving on. And I'm like, you know what? Have fun with that. You're a scoffer. You're a mocker. You don't really care like a screech owl. You're, you're just screaming and screeching and not even listening. So don't do it. Do not do it. You will be wasting your time. But when you reprove, when you correct, when you reason with someone who's wise, they, it, they, they love you. They love it and they love you for it. They, you know, a wise person, and I've learned this process, when someone comes to me with a complaint or, or they don't like something or they want to correct me or teach me something, I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. I needed to hear that. You know, I'm, I have blind spots. I can see, I, I can miss things. So question, are you a screech owl? Are you a scoffer? Do you get defensive when people come trying to correct you? Or are you a person who is wise, who loves it? who receives it, like, please show me where I'm wrong so I can change and grow and develop. Please show me what I'm not seeing because I can be blind. I cannot see things. That is wisdom and the love you for it. So fools despise correction and those who correct them. Not only do they hate the fact that you correct them, they hate you for it, right? That's not a good deal. You never win with that. And people who are wise love correction and love those who correct them. So who are you going to be, folks, the wise person or the screech owl? I hope you choose wisely. Lord bless you. Tomorrow we're going to get into Proverbs chapter 10. I'd love to hear what you learned about this chapter, what you got out of it. There's so many different verses, and there's other things that the Holy Spirit is speaking to people to teach them through this. So I'd love, share with me what you're learning, and we can encourage each other that way. Lord bless you. We'll see you manana.